telling you, telling you, telling you, the morning has got nothing but assholes out. Look at these motherfuckers, why are they goddamn fucking stop? Why do you hate cutting grass? It's a pain in the fucking ass. Well, describe it. I don't, I've never cut grass. Well, you should try it and you'd understand. It's a fucking pain in the goddamn ass. If it was up to me, I'd fucking put poison on all that grass, man, and throw gravel down. You gotta get up there. I mean, if you don't have acreage, you got a small plot, you gotta get the, you gotta buy a goddamn lawnmower, buy gasoline, and you gotta push this fucking lawnmower all over this fucking grass. Once a week, sometimes twice. I've just lost faith in humanity. I've, I've recently? Really, I, it's just... You recently lost faith, faith? I had hope. I had hope. I had a little bit of hope that people would realize, and they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. It's just so fucking frustrating. It makes me want to cry. It, does. it just makes me want to cry. It's fucking depressing. What people fucking do. With everything that's been on TV, that's been in the papers, that people talk about, that goes on. good Christian values. That's why I kept picking up on the Facebook feeds and comments from... This woman in Georgia, during one of their debates, stood there at the podium and out of her mouth she said, I don't believe in a living way. Okay. And they still fucking elected her. What in the fuck actually is wrong with you people? What fucking world are you fucking living in? How the fuck the woman stood there on stage and said she doesn't believe in a living wage. And you fucking elected her. Did you not hear what she said? Did you not pay attention? What in the fuck exactly is wrong with you? You know how that dumpster fire said that he can stand on Fifth Avenue and kill somebody and nobody would care? He was right. He's absolutely right. They do not care. They don't fucking care. So, um, I'm, I was just on Twitter and Facebook checking this out. And everybody's saying, well, you know, he came close. They spent a lot of money and this, that, and the other. And that they're still waiting for, you know, they're going to figure out their plan for 218 and all that other good shit. And I'm looking at it and I'm saying, you know what, you stupid motherfuckers. That election last night in Georgia showed all them fucking Republicans in Congress that their seats are safe no matter what they do. So they have no incentive to do anything. I think you're looking at that wrong. I'm not. I am not. 
this fucking woman is the most useless piece of shit no, you ever want to see. this is what say. I think you're, not, you're missing. You're saying, I mean, this isn't a swing area, okay? This isn't a purple area. This was supposed to be solid red. Should have been an easy win, and it wasn't. It was a close it election. It was still a fucking loss. Well, for those people who live in areas that aren't so red, they're going to lose their seats. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. The Republican Look, if you photo. live in an area that should be red, okay, and you expect there to be maybe a 70% return, you lost 20%. Okay. This country is two countries. More you, than that, okay. You have the Democrats, and then you have the idiots. I have met a couple intelligent Republicans. Uh, uh, they're far and few between. The Republicans. They're not the fringe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Back when Nixon was president, prior to the Watergate incident, there were a few Republicans I would have voted for. One. I hope I got his name right, but his name was, I believe his name was Howard Baker. He was a senator from Tennessee. And yes, I would have voted for him for president. The Republicans these days are nothing like they used to be. That's true. Nixon was a Republican. I believe the Senate was controlled by Republicans, and yet they impeached him because they had ethics. They believed the good of the country overrode, you know, over, over, overrode everything else. These motherfuckers you got now are the most hateful, most bigoted, most homophobic fucking group of men you ever want to get together. I have never seen anything like that. And I've been through... I've been through many presidents, starting with Eisenhower. I've been here a while. So... It is just unbelievable. It, it's... It, I, I just... I'm at a loss to explain these fucking... I, I just can't. I, it's beyond me. It is really beyond me. I just don't know what these people think. I, I don't know how they think. I don't know what they think. I don't know any of that shit. As far as I'm concerned, they're all fucking... They're just simply crazy. They are crazy. I just don't understand it. I really fucking don't. It's such a... Downer. It makes me want to go home and drink fucking alcohol and I don't drink. Or pop some fucking pills, but I don't take pills. But it makes me want to do that, just to fucking clear all this shit out of my head. You gotta go to work. I'll see you guys later. Bye.